Well, it's plus four degrees outside and I'm thinking how in the heck can I get my chips colder quicker? Let's mix that dry ice with some mother acetone viewers. Yeah. Hello and welcome back YouTube. We're going to make this video short and sweet today. I'm not feeling well at all. So we've booted up into the BIOS. We've cooled down our CPU. Let's have a look, see what the BIOS reports here. Reports minus 11. So this probe definitely uh, does not go past minus 11. And let's just have a quick look at some of our settings here. So we're going to boot into the operating system at 5.5 gigahertz on all the cores. Our RAM is at 3919 megahertz. I've got the base clock uh, tweaked up a bit. And we've got our cache set for 53. And our basically our core voltage is at 1.6 volts. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and load into Windows here. This will be a pretty short video. Let's see what we can get out of this chip on dry ice cooling at 1.6 volts. And we're, we are just going to run that Cinebench. So we'll just boot her up, get into Windows here at 5.5, we'll start from there and uh, work our way up, see what we can get out of this uh, i7-8700K. See if this thing can do a good job focusing for us here. Come on, baby, baby. All right, looks like she's focused up now. So I've got speed step uh, disabled, but it's not displaying very accurately for us today. So we'll bring up the CPU Z. We'll bring up Cinebench and uh, we'll bring up the AI suite as well. And we'll just have that behind us here so we can just monitor the, uh, the voltage and the temperature. Although I don't know if the temperature is going to change here. So let's go for a quick uh, Cinebench run here at 5.5 gigahertz. Just rocking it, dry ice cooling. So AI suite is showing our CPU up to zero C and CPU Z showing 5.5 gigahertz. All right, 1810 points. It's not a very good score. Um, so let's go for Go for 5.6 gigahertz. I'm gonna have to top up the dry ice here. Getting a little low. So 5.6 gigahertz, 1,848 points. It's pretty decent, but uh, I know she's got some more in her. Let's go for 5.7 gigahertz on all the cores. As you can see all of our cores ramping up to 
5.7 gigahertz and beyond 57.25 and she's just cooking it now I've basically run all my tests already so I know where this chip is going to top out um, so far my highest score is 1942 but let's see if we can top that I'm doubtful but uh, we can definitely try so this chip is only going to run at 5.8 gigahertz. I can just go a little bit beyond 5.8 gigahertz. So here we are, 5.8 gigahertz, just rocking it. I tuned down the base clock a little bit so that doesn't uh, cause us to crash here hopefully. Nineteen hundred and three. That's a pretty decent score. Let's go ahead and put the uh, process set the priority here to uh, to real time. See what that yields us. So we're five point eight on the core, five point three on the cache. Memories at 3900 megahertz. We broke that 1900 point wall. Be nice to break 2000 points. That'd be for sure. 1919 points. That's a pretty good score. But we want some more, so let's try to let's try to get some more out of her. We'll tune up the base clock a little bit here. And uh see if it crashes it's a good chance it'll crash and if so thanks for checking out this quick little video uh, riding along with me at 5.8 gigahertz on the i7 8700k if not thanks for sticking around and uh, making it through to the end with me let's see if she completes we're looking for 1942 Ooh, scored scored a bit lower so either we are thermal throttling or S Cinebench is acting funny here so let's go ahead and start another one we'll just go right for real-time priority this time this is how I would typically do it if I was just uh, benching and not recording it. Normally I just go right for real time priority and anytime I get a low score like that I'll just close the program, reopen it, hopefully get a high score. But you never know with these things. 1945, let's have a, oh, okay, we're still rocking. Let's have a quick look and see what our highest score is so far. So I just gotta find this here. How come this is but uh Alright, our highest score so far was 1942, so we've got a high score here. So let's, uh, we're going to have to save this score. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I would not have rebenched this if it wasn't for wanting to do a little video, little Cinebench video for you guys here on dry ice. So we'll show you how we take a screenshot. I'd like to get this uh, displaying the right core frequency. And I just got it, 5818. Yeah, I got it. Let's go ahead and save this. 1945. Alright, that was pretty cool. So, let's, uh, let's just run that again for the heck of it and see what happens. Might score higher, might score lower. But that was pretty epic. I wasn't expecting to get a high score here on this video so 
Let's see what happens. You guys are pretty good luck so far. Ooh, 1917. So let's go ahead and uh, tune the bass clock a little bit. So we'll just bump that up a couple notches and rerun the Cinebench. See what happens. I think we just may crash and burn right now. Uh, so far I've been having a lot of fun with this chip on dry ice. The Maximus Apex 10 has been a freaking dream so far on uh, Sub-Zero or dry ice cooling. So Cinebench just died on us there. Just freaking died right on us. But the Maximus Apex 10 very nice board for sub-zero overclocking uh it didn't freeze up didn't glitch once on me and this is my first cold session with the board so it's been really 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 enjoyable highly recommended especially if you're doing this kind of thing Let's see what we score here oh won't complete and we're basically gonna blue screen here all right guys Thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate all the support. My last video got like 55 views, so big thumbs up. And um, just wanna give a big shout out to the guys at Arrow Welding. They've been hooking me up with dry ice for basically a meat tray or a Subway sandwich. So the stuff's getting hard for me to find. So big shout out to those guys. And um, big shout out to my man, Tupac. I know he's still with us. All right, peace.